Hi and welcome to this next tutorial on how to use Flex within Unreal Engine 4. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be looking at um, particles and how to uh, create fluids um, as we see in this scene right here. So this is a fluid with a surface um, as you may have seen in the other video. F uh, fluid was represented by uh, s what looked like balls um, but it's actually uh, just particles and if you look closely at the surface it looks like it's um, curving and it's, it is because uh, each particle is represented by a, a sphere and um, then with some trickery they convert the spheres into what looks like fluids um, as we see it right here and um, you can have uh, fluids interact with uh, geometry, which I'll show in a later video. Um, and if we push the, you can have, yeah, as you can see, when we push the ball into the uh, basin here, uh, water just jumps out, and as well as the player, and the, you can see the fluids um, interacting with the. Uh, um, the physics uh, uh, cylinder uh, of the character. So, uh, in order to use this, um, you can start off in the test package um, that comes with the, this particular version of the Unreal Engine, um, which you compiled from GitHub. And there's um, several uh, emitters down here that you can use, um, and this is the one that is present in the scene. And if you just click on the on this one right here, you can see that you need to um, have a container. And as I mentioned earlier, a container is a, a set of um, configurations where you can change the uh, different aspects of Flex. Uh, I'll come back to containers in a later example. I'll just show it quickly here. And then we need a Flex fluid surface uh, template and the template is uh, just a set of configurations and um, you can apply a material to to the surface as you can see here we have this translucent uh, material which is applied to the particles and then they try to smooth over uh, the particles so that it looks like it's a, a like a smooth surface um, and if you go to required, um, you can s set uh, all the normal parameters uh, that you like. Um, and this material right here, um, you don't need to set anything in this material. Or you, well, you could put in, uh, something in if you like, but it's not being used when we have uh, spawning fluids um, with the surface and remember to set the spawn rate to zero because that is actually controlled um, down here in the flex uh, fluid uh, component um, you shouldn't should also disable velocity and location because uh, that is also handled by this component right here um, so these numbers dimensions x and y is um, how many particles on the x and y uh, axis am I gonna spawn? Right now we have four by four. We could also have uh, two by two, and we get four particles spawned every time in a row. So you can experiment with this depending on how uh, large your stream of water uh, needs to be. Um, and under velocity, it's uh, the speed with which, uh, or the speed of the uh, emitter. Uh, how many particles am I emitting? Uh, if we set it to 100, you can see it's not as much, and you get us like a, s a slower seeping kind of uh, uh, water. And you can set it to a high one if you need to spray water around. And that's lifetime if you want to your particles to live forever. Um, remember there's only a certain amount of particles you have in the scene at one time so um, you need to 
uh, either kill them off uh, in some way, and I'll show that later how you can use a drain, as it's called, to kill the particles, and then um, the emitter will spawn new particles, or you can uh, have them die over time. And as you can see, um, it's not such a complex uh, material. It's also one of those materials that was in the test package. There's another way to use um, particles, and that is in if you want to sp spawn a large uh, number of particles uh, at once, like this sand castle right here. which can also be used if you want to uh, fill a let's say a swimming pool with uh, fluid you can just um, create um, a, a static mesh and use that as um, the form that you want the particles to start in so if we see this again this emitter right here um, if we try and open it up It has a spawn flex shape instead of the spawn flex fluid. And you put in a mesh. Uh, if we look at this mesh right here. It's just a normal a static mesh. And it's set as a flex solid acid. This is quite important. You need to have this set as a flex solid acid. And you don't need a, a container template. And then when you play it will try and it will not be glued together um, but you could for example fill a, a swimming pool with the um, with uh, fluids all in one go instead of having to fill them up with a, a, a another one of the other particle emitters all right um, next tutorial we'll be looking at containers and the options to uh, that you can use there and how to actually use a container to uh, generate gameplay or how to alter the behavior of the particles uh, in-game. See you next time.